Good thing we aren't allergic. We'd all be dead. We'd all, all three of us would be dead. This couple says the danger started with a buzzing sound outside their home. Then that sound became a swarm of bees that they say threatened their lives. Our own David McAnally went to Muncie today where the bees have created a housing crisis. If you've ever had to spray or to fog for bees, it's probably because there were a lot of them or they were getting aggressive. That's what happened to a Muncie family and now they're even afraid to go back to their house. In Muncie's Middletown Gardens. Can we go up and see it? You can't. Don't get too close. The bees will get you. The bees got Susan Asbury, her husband Michael, and their little dog Pepper this week. Are you worried about the bees? Yes. Yes, I about died. They lost my pulse in the ambulance. Susan says Michael noticed a sound on Monday. I'd heard a humming before, but I just thought it was over that way a little bit. But it was coming from under his wheelchair accessible ramp, a buzzing sound. They reported it to management, they say, at Muncie's HUD office. But the next day, without warning... They just attacked me. They swarmed me. They all went in my hair, and they attacked me all over, especially my hair, and all over me started stinging me, and I started screaming. Stung over 35 times, she says. They went for Michael, too. He was stung 10 times, and their Schnauzer Terrier mix pepper, at least 40 stings, she says. And we were trying to get to her, and I had to run out the other door with bees on me, running around, and got Pepper loose. Susan says the mailman grabbed the dog and got the bees off of her, but Pepper is still at the animal hospital with complications. It's just been a nightmare, and now we're basically homeless. Susan and Michael are afraid to go back up that ramp. So they're staying with a friend. Susan and Michael say they're not asking for a lot. They just want a safe place here. Uh, the ramp here, since Michael uses that wheelchair, this is the only way he can get into his apartment right now. Even though they say management used a fogger under that ramp, they're still seeing bees. And they want to make sure that management tears it out and puts in a new one. I can't even go in my own home. We reached out to housing office, but uh, it is the weekend. The family hoping to hear back from them. They say they just want a safe place to go back to. Jenny. All right.